Yeah, definitely entrance that way. We're at Frontier Town. Me and Phil, day off. Now that you don't know where we're going, let's get there. Okay. Talking to the vlog. It's on a par with all of the normal. <laughs> that's, that's way too funny. Frontier to me. I don't think parking's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's definitely the entrance or exit, but what do we know about Frontier Town? There's not much to know about Frontier Town. Abandoned Frontier Town. This theme park in upstate New York boomed in the heyday of the Western, but went bust like an old ghost town. Started in 1952 in the Adirondacks. Theme park built for kids and their folks who used to be kids. <laughs> built for children, for kids and their folks who used to be kids. Founded by Arthur Benson, enterprising phone technician from Staten Island. The park had a pioneer village, prairie junction, an Indian village, a rodeo arena, and a narrow gauge railroad. It was rebuilt and then stayed in business until 1998. Recently, there has been talk about removing the buildings and fencing off the land for health and safety reasons. With buildings falling apart like this, there is always the question of asbestos and other hazardous materials. <laughs> Good. Frontier Town. So this is it, this is the circle. Oh. Let's keep that open. So this way we gotta be careful that there's no collapsing floor or roof get pinned in, but this is pretty neat. I figure if it's been up for 20 years abandoned, it'll, it'll be up for the next five minutes with me walking in it. I hope. This must have been like a cookhouse or a mock-up of, of a home. Restaurant, maybe. maybe restaurant and saloon. There's a little bit of a bar here. Yeah. Light switches, I don't think they would have had those. Fluorescent lighting, that's an upgrade. Should I just kick it? Huh? Should I just kick it? Um, just... Oh. oh yeah. It is. Oh, that one maybe a little more so than the other. It brings a little more light into the into the house. Oh yeah, these are definitely aftermarket supports. <laughs> Probably where the train track ran. And now it's a cross country ski trail. My guess. 
they had a train station. I think that was it. The train would come in, then take people out to here, where they would go on a short little ride. That's probably the actual path we should have walked in to get here. Phil and I just ran into some locals that uh, one of them was here, was offered a job here in 1994 at Frontier Town. And the other one hasn't been here since 1972. Uh, and they were saying that on the coach, which we think was back there, they used to have cowboys that would ride up beside the coach as you're as you're taking the train and they would come and rob you. And then after a little bit of time, the sheriff would, would catch up and, and arrest the robber. And as a public show, they used to put him on this big swinging arm at the pond and swing them onto the pond and dunk them in the water for stealing. and I are wandering on the way, railway back, just like two, two Wild West punks. Sitting on that Frontier Town footage for a week or so, uh, and I haven't known what to say about that footage. There's so much to say about that town. The takeaway was it was really cool, and visually it was really cool, and I hope I was able to capture the visual representation of Frontier Town in a very short and concise way. Bumpy ride.